Yo, how you doing? Welcome to Gary's Tech Show. Um, I'm Gary. Right now, I'm on do a Roku. I'm on. I'm gonna do a Roku channel without doing any hosting. I'm. It's gonna be self-hosted by me. And um, the idea of, of the Roku chat of the Roku uh of the Roku channel is internet TV. Uh, right now I'm going to do a channel which is based around, you know, it's going to have, it's going to be a video channel, an internet TV channel. At the same time, it's also going to be, um, it's also going to be, uh, it's also going to have a clock and server so that it could run the channel. Now, if you're if you're not that good at it, but it's still one channel, this here would have been would be much better. You can learn much easier. And I'm also going to use a Visual Studio Community 2015. It's a it's a bet it's it's way better. That way you can be able to learn how to build the channel in BrightScript and it's much easier to read BrightScript through uh, it's much easier to read BrightScript through Visual Studio but you have to get Community 2015 I'm also going to throw in um, I'm also going to throw in some stuff from uh, from the simple grid sample. I'm also going to add the in app purchase sample because um, I might have some local restaurants. You can be able to order your food and pick it up right at your channel. I mean, I definitely wanted to do something like that. Like, for example, if, there, if there's like something like a sports or if my local football team or baseball team goes to the championship. And um, people want to order some food for the championship games. You can be able to do that. Um, right now, um, I'm just going to work on the grip. And I'm going to work on the grid and the... And the um, I'm gonna work on the grid and the um, and the uh, the clock, the grid, and the server. I'm gonna use those three. Server, it'll be much. It'll, it would be much easier to just have it programmed at a time, so it'd be much better. The clock, so that it, the channel could understand time and stuff. Right now, I'm on. I'm gonna set up the grid and the server. Go to go to simple server. Go to the web server. Okay, that should be able to work there. Yeah, you don't have to change this. Um, what I did was like it's it's much better to copy your base uh, code and then and then paste it to source like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you an example.
okay take the clock right here copy it the source then you paste it bam like that but you you copy the main and then you paste it there because there's no way to start up a bright script so you practically have to copy and paste it on a different folder now my channel would be would be marked channel this is my this is, this is where I put this is where I edit this is where I, this is my ch actual channel these here are just samples after I copy and paste it I just set it up like this This is probably the no wait. This this is mine. This is mine right here because this is a combination of simple grid and server. So what I did was I copy I copy all the um, I copy the the base which is this web server right here the main the main script to the web server and I paste it on the file of my channel channel source and boom right there and it's right here. This is how far I got in right here. for initiate theme here and my channel is kind of my channel is a, is a combination of the grid and web server and I'm going to add the clock in there so that I can be a, so that it can be able to read time and and also the channel can also have like a little time activated playlist it'll play that means it'll it'll play a it'll play a it'll play a, a TV show or a, a broadcasted or a uh, previously recorded broadcast at a set time so yeah basically Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up a simple video player to show you the basics on how to make an app that plays video. All you have to do is copy this and paste it into your channels folder. Next, after you copy it and paste it into the channels folder, folder you have. A URL played on these in BrightScript. Um, if you want to do a live, if you want to do it live, the stream format is HLS. 
That's what it is. And right now I'm using a live stream. And let me check, see if I'm signed in. Yep, sign in. Now the best part about this is you have it um you have everything set up. The best part is this op uh, the best part is you get the you know use the use the URL right here. And then you just paste it right here. You can also change it to HD or SD and then if it's a live stream you just put in HLS that's stream format but here's the best part you can also if you if, if you know the, the format you just put mp3 mp4 stuff like that you can also get video off of YouTube you can also get videos off of YouTube like this just go down to share copy it paste it on this here and it'll play now the best part about live stream is you can get you can get you can practically get equipment from here like for example you can get you can get a you can get a, a broadcaster for your for your eight for your DSLR right here. You can automatically start and stop broadcast through your uh, DSLR. You can also get you can also get like a lot of good software right here. Which is nice. Imagine this. I mean, a baseball game or a football game or a tennis match. You can be able to watch. You can be able to broadcast this on your Roku channel, which is way better. You can also use it on your software if it runs Windows. Just. Yeah, producer right here. But the one thing about these, these are really expensive. Now back to um, now back to this. Right now, um, right now it's gonna take a it's gonna take a lot for me to uh, work on this. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna take a lot out of me to work on this. Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna bring up the bring up the web server, study this.
But this this is for like a pretty big one. I mean, you're because when you use this, it's gonna take a lot out of you. Well, right now, I don't have much. Um, well, it's going to take a while for, for, for me to finish this. So, um, I might make, I'm going to make a part two. And if it comes to that, I'll make a part three. If you like what I have here, um, I will uh, just visit my uh, just visit my uh, my uh, blog, and I'll see you later.